Hey there, Katherine Guidry here, and today we're gonna to be talking all about how you can better balance being a parent as you work from home and also running your business. A little note before we get started, I just wanted to sort of give the disclaimer that things that I do may not work for you and things that you do may not work for someone else or for me and that's okay. Essentially, we're all just trying to do our best as business owners and as parents. And especially now these days where we're sort of blending the two with work from home, there are some things that I've learned, um, <laughs> mistakes that I've made that I wanted to share in hopes that it can help you not make some of the same mistakes that I did. But I really just wanted to say that because I know, especially as a parent, it's a very sensitive subject and we all love our children so very much and want the best for them. And so please note that the things I'm sharing, it's not necessarily the only way or the best way. It's just things that I've learned in my process of becoming a parent that I hope can be helpful for someone else. One of the things that I learned pretty early on is that as a work from home parent, when I was trying to work and parent at the same time, I felt like I wasn't really doing either one well. It was better for me to sort of separate the two things. So what do I mean by that? I mean that when I was working, I was not with my child. Um, I was very focused and I had to learn to let go of the guilt behind that because we ultimately need to work for our financial situation in order to pay for where we live and pay for things that we need to survive. And so I had to release the guilt of that and focus on the work in those work hours. Simultaneously, when I was with my child, I also had to let go of the guilt that I wasn't working at that time, that I was being focused and intentional with our child and with my husband so that we did have family time with friends and with each other away from work. And so if you do take away anything from this, I would say if you haven't yet, I would encourage you to do the best you can to separate those two things. The more that we can be focused and intentional with our work when we're at work and the more that we can be focused and intentional with our child or children when we're with them, the better. The way I thought about it is that um, our child is observing the things that we're doing throughout the day when we're with her. And so I wanted her to see us leave and go to work, which we'll get into that later, and come home and when we're home, be with her and not on our phones and computers and working, right? We wanted to kind of set those boundaries between the two so that I felt like I could focus and do well in each thing. What I learned as a work from home parent is that when I was attempting to work, I needed childcare. And so that was an investment that I decided to make early on because I didn't have capacity to do both at the same time. I felt like in order to really focus on work and really focus on our daughter, then when I wasn't with her, I needed childcare. So what that looks like is every day around 9 a.m., we have childcare come in. So in the morning hours, we're spending time with our daughter, we're doing breakfast together, we're doing family time together, and that's focused time for family. At about 9 a.m., we do have childcare come in. At that time, we go to the gym, we get dressed for the day, and we work. Our child care is here until about four o'clock, at which time we put work on pause. From four o'clock until bedtime, that's focus time for our family, for our friends, and for us to just be together. So that's no phone, that's no computer. And also when we do have child care, we do ask that that time is also focused between the child caretaker and our child and not so centered around TV and devices, but rather play and learning so that they're also working in a sense on growing and you know understanding what it's like to have fun during the day as well. At four o'clock, we focus on family time and after bedtime, so at around 7, 7.30, we do go back to work if we don't have social plans or plans with one another that evening. And we'll usually work for about an hour or so after bedtime, then we stop everything and we enjoy time together in the evening. That is a system that has worked well for us. The biggest thing though was that I had to understand that I needed childcare um, when I was working because I didn't 
didn't feel good about putting our child in front of the TV or giving her a device because I wanted her to be playing and have someone focused on her. And if I couldn't do that, then we needed to go ahead and hire that out. And finding good childcare is a whole nother topic in and of itself that maybe I could do another um, topic on that I've learned a lot about. But having childcare really has been the biggest blessing because I know that our daughter is being taken care of whenever we're working and then whenever we're done, we're able to focus. When you have childcare in your home, it can be a little bit challenging. Do you have someone that's actually in your space and even though you're working, you're also in the home? So the biggest thing for us has been the realization that now that our daughter is older, she understands what's going on. We can't just be at the house working in the back without her knowing. And so one of the best things that we've done is that we have actually started when we leave and go to work for the day, even though it's in our house, we leave the home so that she sees us departing and then we go around the back of the house into our office, we work, and then whenever we're done, we come back into the front at four and we say hello. It was very hard when she would know that we were at the house but didn't understand why we weren't playing with her or interacting with her. So we realized very early on that we didn't want her to feel like we weren't paying attention to her or anything of that nature. And so by us departing the house or her at least seeing us leave and saying bye, it's like we are not home at that time because we are focused on work at that time. And then when we are finished, we come back through the door and we enter and we say hello. So yes, that does mean we bring water and snacks and food into the workspace. We work just as if we we're away from home. And then when we're finished, we're coming back into the main space with our child. With work from home parents like ourselves, we decided that it was really important for us to trust our caretaker and provide clear guidelines for expectations. And the reason why that's so helpful is because we can really leave knowing that our child is well taken care of. Another thing that we've done is we have a group text with our sitter. So if I'm on a call or if Brad is on a call, we can leave the other person to correspond with the sitter if that's needed while we're working. So I encourage you to have a group text. We also have a shared calendar. So I know what Brad is doing when he's doing it for work. He knows what I'm doing for work and when. And that's really great because if there is ever an emergency or something that comes up, one of us is always available. So we don't overlap our calendars we make sure that we leave space and capacity since we are both work from home so that he has his things scheduled and that I have my things scheduled at separate times one thing that I will say about childcare is that if in your gut you feel like someone isn't a good fit there are other qualified child care takers out there that can do a good job that your child will feel comfortable with and so if you're ever in doubt or have any hesitation trust that feeling and just go ahead and find someone else the last thing that I will say, which I've already touched on this in the video, but the biggest takeaway that I want to encourage all of us is to just release the guilt and um, the comparisons. You know, even at the very beginning of this video, I expressed that I don't claim to know everything about being a parent or being a business owner. Um, I am definitely still learning and I'm also, you know, learning as we go. And so if I'm sharing something that could change, you know, we are truly figuring this out and and my desire is to help other people who may be in the same journey that we are. I think the biggest thing for us was like just understanding that I couldn't do work and be a mom at the same time. What I mean by that is like in the exact moment that I'm typing on my computer, I cannot also pay attention, right? Like it's needs space and separation. And so when I realized that and when I began to block out time for each of those two things, I immediately felt that strong sense of balance in my life. I felt like I was no longer being pulled in two directions simultaneously. To all of you parents out there that are trying to figure it out, I hear you, I feel you. I think we're all just doing the best we can because we wanna build a life that we love and we love our children and we want to do the best for them. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any insights and tips that you've learned, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for giving me the grace and the space to share this 
episode specifically was super vulnerable for me because um, I feel like I'm opening up myself and what has worked for me to other people. But um, yeah, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to continue to bring you more value-based content moving forward. Bye.